behind you there. If you could dance, you, you know, you was one leg up on them, I can tell you that. <laughs> anyway, I learned to dance as a, as a young teenager. I, I did the modern dance back then as a jitterbug. And, uh, and a jitterbug and a two-step. And, and I probably taught half of, half of the boys in, in, in high school that I run around with to dance, you see. I always learned to dance the boys' part and the girls' part. And so that I could dance the girls' part while I was teaching them. But anyway, that's how I got into the dance. And then that went along for a few years. And then one time, I, of course, here again, I always still always liked the, uh, the, the, you know, the old time, the fiddle and the string band music. And, and growing up, my, my, my brothers and sisters, they were, they were taking piano lessons because my dad, he felt like that, that, that music was, was, was good for their social culture. And, uh, and so he, they were taking piano lessons. And I had a finger cut off, so that, that kind of that <laughs> ended the piano business. And I wanted to learn to play guitar, but back then, there wasn't anybody that gave guitar lessons around home. But anyway, one time I made a trip to Pocahontas County with my dad. Now my dad was, when he first came to this country, that's where he settled, in Pocahontas County. But he had a friend up there that had a son, and I friended up with him. And they owned some land back on the head of Williams River, and we went hunting back there one day. Well, there was a fellow back there named Carpenter, and anybody that's ever knows anything about fiddling and banjo picking, you know, uh, it, it involves the Carpenters and the Hammonds, as you know, from over in Pocahontas County. Well, I knew all those people, but anyway, I got acquainted with Dan, and Dan played the claw hammer banjo, and he was an old-time flatfoot dancer. And his, and his brother Hamp was a good dancer, and he played the fiddle, too. And that's where I got, that's where I got interested in the old-style flatfoot dancing. Mm. And, 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 uh, and, that, and that's actually where I... I got started, and I just kind of, you know, I, I could keep time, and I was, I was a good jitterbug dancer, and, and I just kind of developed my, you know, my own step for, for string music, and, uh, and, and that's how I got started. Mm -hmm. And most of the style I dance is a style that I, you know, I kind of developed myself, and some I learned from watching other people, those old time dancers. But I was, I was, uh, I believe I was 20 years old then. Mm -hmm. And that's where I got interested in the claw and the banjo. And I bought me a banjo to start learning to play it. But that, that's how, that's how I got, got started and that's how I learned to dance. Mm -hmm. can, we, can we get Lou to do a little bit of dancing? Yeah. Go for it, Lou. <laughs> Here, here. What if I roll up the carpet? No, it's all right. I'll, I'll be all right. If I, if I fall off, I'm going to get on the carpet. Okay. I'm going to stand next to you. Okay. <laughs>